Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've released a video. I'm hoping to get back into it. This video will be about Heber C. Kimball and a dream that he, he um, told us about during one of his discourses in the tabernacle. This is in the Journal of Discourses. The title of the talk that it comes from is Rebuking Iniquity, the Potter and the Clay and a Dream. Heber C. Kimball states, Some time ago, when I spoke to the congregation in words of rebuke, it made a wonderful stir with a few men, that is, with those who were hit, and with those who were filled with sympathy for them, because they were such fine, accomplished gentlemen. After I went home from the council that same evening, I dreamed that I was at work at my old trade of making pots, that I had a kiln, and that brothers Brigham Grant and others were there. The kiln was full of earthen vessels, and we had burnt wood in the arches until it became red hot, but the blaze was coming out of the flues. It did not draw as we wished it to, for the wood was not sufficiently dry. We went and got some good dry wood, but we were gone some time, and when we came back to the kiln, it had gotten considerably low in heat. We put in some dry wood and soon brought it back to the same heat it had before we left it. But when I began to look around, I saw a great many vessels off on one side that were not good for anything. They would not stand the fire and began to fall in when nobody was touching them. A whole tier of them fell in at a time. Said I, why have you made these vessels so thin? You have made them two-thirds larger than they ought to be with the amount of clay that is in them. Their skin is too thin. You have stretched them too far and not given them the thickness in proportion. What shall we do with them? Let us break them up and put them into the mill and grind them up again. The material is good, but they all need making over. Do you understand that dream? The elders or somebody else had stretched those vessels too much. They had got the big head. That is, their heads were larger than the substance would sustain. They fell in. The vessels fell in. The clay was good, but the vessels were made too big in the start. We must not stretch them too much. Potters always work according to the amount of clay on hand. If it is a small lump, they make a small vessel and make it all the way of a thickness as near as possible. In the dream, I discovered that there were many just such thin characters all around us that they fell and fell or and they fell in because we touched some of them i have touched many people here both men and women who profess to be latter day saints and i hurt them just as bad as i hurt some strangers but i never hurt the feelings of a true saint nor of a stranger who is a gentleman no not one of them i hurt scoundrels who will take a course and have taken a course to pollute themselves and to put the leaven of corruption and wickedness in the midst of this people. I am directly opposed to such characters and to their principles. Do you understand why? Because I have been driven and afflicted until there is hardly a vestige of anything left which I had when I came into Mormonism. I thought this was a really cool dream and interpretation and it really played on my heart the fact that we should stand ready for rebuke so that by being rebuked by those who are in authority over us, by receiving counsel from God, we can make sure that we have substance to back up our thickness or our big head, I should say, that we're not getting lost in the weeds, 
but that we're truly following God and not assuming His will, but listening to His will through His prophet, seer, and revelator, Russell M. Nelson. What a gift we have in Him, and we should stand ready to receive rebuke and counsel from Him, for He speaks for the Lord. And also, seeking our own personal revelation and counsel from the Lord directly. I hope that this was a interesting story, but also that it was insightful and brought thoughts to your heart and mind about how we all might be a little like these vessels and how we should keep a watchful eye to make sure our heads don't get too big and make sure there's substance behind those heads. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.